What's up, my people? Welcome back. Let's make this delicious one pot curry. Very straightforward recipe, but as always, check out the description for more details. I'm going to go ahead and rehydrate the veggie chunks. You can either boil this for a few minutes or soak in hot water. Once the veggie chunks are rehydrated, you want to drain this liquid and rinse them off a bit. I'm going to go ahead and saute some onion and garlic followed by the curry powder which I'm going to allow to burn for about a minute or two. Here I'm adding some betta pak curry and I'm going to allow this to burn for about a minute followed by the veggie chunks. veggie chunks soak up moisture so you have to replace it okay you can do this by adding a little bit of water here and there and coconut milk so here i'm adding some all-purpose seasoning i'm also going to add some coconut milk and remember what i said earlier you have to add back the moisture because the veggie chunks will not spring its own liquid I'm going to go in with some fresh seasoning, bell pepper, scotch bonnet pepper, scallion, some more onion, and ginger. Because I'm going to add some dumpling to this later on, I want to make sure that the base of this curry is well seasoned and everything is incorporated before I add the dumplings, alright? Here I went in with some more all-purpose seasoning and pepper. Now the all-purpose seasoning have enough salt, so I add minimal salt to this pot. But as I always said, make sure to season this to your liking. At this point, I'm going to add the dumplings and allow the pot to simmer down. Now, if you're new to my channel, feel free to check out some of my older videos on how to make dumplings, okay? Remember what I said earlier about that moisture? Yes, at this point, I definitely need some more liquid in order for these dumplings to cook so i went in with some more coconut milk and as i said you can add a little bit of water here and there or coconut milk and make sure to adjust the taste if necessary i'm going to cover and allow this to simmer down for about 15 minutes now look at this this looks divine it smells amazing not to mention the taste so the broccoli is the last thing i'm going to add because you don't want the broccoli to become soggy so I'm going to add the broccoli and give this about six minutes. After that, curry medley, our one pot curry will be up and running. So as I mentioned, I'm going to cover this and then give it another six minutes. One pot curry up and running. Listen, your girl was hungry and I did not want to make two pot. So this one pot curry or curry medley definitely hits the spot. This was amazing. That's it, my people. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you try and enjoy this recipe. Feel free to add your own little twist. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bless upon yourself.